Hey guys, it's me Thomas. Today I will be doing a small series where I will be helping people make things in New EF. In this episode, I will be teaching you how to make a barrier material. So what you want to do is you want to download a texture of what you want. Um, if you want to copy me, which is a texture that I like, it's really good. Um, click on the link in the description and you can download it from there. Um, after that, go and create a folder in the content folder of your project in New EFN. Name it whatever you like. Open in the folder and then you want to drag in your texture into your bfn after that click on the texture and it'll open it and the way you want to do is go over to the right where it says level of detail you want to go down and change this to no mitt maps if you haven't already then go down to od bias and change this to one then go down to compression and go to advanced after that you want to go to maximum texture size and press this to the max which is what i've done it looks the best and it doesn't break either then go down and press save and then you can close that what you like after that go down to your folder right click and create a material and then i'm going to name this guy you can name it wherever you want um of course so after that you want to go and open the thing and after that you want to go down to shading model on your left go down and press unlit and then what we want to do is drag it to the left a little bit. Press C and name this textures. And then after you've named it whatever you like, uh, mainly textures is the best. You want to make this as big as possible. Well, not big as possible, of course. Make it just big enough so you can fit two textures in. So after that, you want to go to the texture and copy and paste two. So you've now got two of these. Hold down L to create a loop. You want to put one in A and one in B like so then right click and create a panel node like so uh, drag it if you need to put both of these in UVs and then you want to change speed X on the side to 0 0.001 like so so after that you want to go and X in that if you want then go to content draw go to materials on under epic functions and then type in long long after that, you've got long lat to UV, you want to open that and put that in there, change the result into coordinate, and then you want to right click and type in camera vector. Put the camera vector into vector V3, so you've now got like this. Now I want to go up and press C again, color, go that, and then hold down 3, put this into white, you must have this one white, otherwise it won't work. And then right click and convert to parameter, and then type in color. After you've done that, you want to create a LERP node, and you want to put this in A, and then you want to hold down S to put this as brightness, and then you want to change um, the default value onto 1. And move it if you need to. That's 1. Then after that, create a multiply node right here, put the color um, LERP into there, and then the texture LERP into and then right click to sky or whatever you name the thing and create material reasons. Once you've done that, you can open it and you can actually change the color of the um, texture. So if you want it to be, let's say, blue, you can, it'll look blue like so. But if you want it more darker, more blue, you want to lower this so it's more purple or blue, whatever you like, or like so. If you make this up, it'll just make it more whiter and more brighter. As you can see, or if you want to reset it, you can usually reset it on the side there. So you've done that, go back to your project, go to Fortnite, Devices, Barrier, or have, if you've already set up Barrier, you don't actually need to do this. Um, like so. Make this big enough for your player to play in. And then, always, and hollow box. So this is what it looks like without the Barrier. Of course, if you've already set it, it'll probably look li a little bit different. So, yeah, so go back to your folder, click, and then you want to do Sky Instance, or whatever you named it, and then click the the arrow right, so, while selected on the um, material instance. And then it should look like this after you put it in. If you go inside it, this is what it looks like. It looks good. In game, it looks way better. Um, the mountains actually look real. It looks perfect. It looks fantastic. Um and it doesn't even look like it's duplicated like so okay so this is how you made the material um if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe i'll be making as many of these as i can think of um but yeah thanks for watching guys bye